Hello, everybody. This presentation is not about Pear Deck. I just have the slideshow open to demonstrate some new features in the Drawing Tools menu in Screencastify, my favorite teacher tool. So uh, about a week ago, all of us at Schuylkill Valley got access to the new Drawing Tools toolbar in Screencastify. It updated automatically. You may have noticed it. You may have played around with it. You may have already used it. But in case you haven't, here's a quick overview of the features. First thing, you can access this uh, when you click the Screencastify icon in the extension areas by turning on the Show Drawing Tools toggle switch right here. And once it's on, you get this toolbar down here. Now, there, uh, the drawing tools used to be down here pinned to the left side of the screen. This now floats. You can move it wherever you want on the screen, wherever it works best for you. And it gives you a lot of uh, functionality, one-click controls right here on the screen. First thing, you can minimize it uh, by clicking the arrow or expand by clicking the out arrow. Uh, you can stop the recording right here from the toolbar. You can pause the recording. So if you want to advance the slide or put this into presentation mode, you can pause it. I clicked presentation mode and now I'm back uh, resuming the screencast in presentation mode. All right. So you have uh, some mouse options, which you've always had. Click. And as you click on the screen, you'll see the little circle. You have focus. As you move around the screen, it highlights, spotlights the area where your cursor is located. Classic, which is simply just the little arrow cursor that moves around. That's the one I use most often. And this new feature, fireworks. As you click, you'll notice you get this little fireworks burst. And you can save that so that wherever you click on the presentation from that point on until you change it, you'll get whatever you selected last. For me, that would be fireworks. We also have a pen feature. You can select different colors and circle key things on the page and clear them all with one click. Or you could use an eraser to erase just one of those circles I drew. Uh, you also have a rectangle feature, multiple um, colors. Again, I can highlight things with different colors. Whoops, forgot to click. There we go. And draw different colored rectangles, clear them all with a single click. Go back. Stickers. You can now post emojis right on your presentation or attach them to... Uh, student work, if you're doing a screencasting of it, clear all those. And there's your eraser feature. And new feature, you can toggle the webcam on and off during your recording, which could never be done before. So uh, I usually don't use the webcam because you just are kind of down here in the corner. And unless you're demonstrating something or solving a problem or you know showing a drawing or something, there's no real need for that, at least in, in my daily use. But if you wanna show your students something at a certain point in the presentation, you could absolutely toggle that on and it shows up. And yeah, I've got weird stuff in the background like that mannequin head, which is why I don't normally turn it on. Um, but if you want to uh, write something on the board, you could go full screen and then turn around, write something behind you on the board. This is your screen mirror function. Uh, that was the uh, full screen. And if I wanna close that entirely, I just click the X and it closes. All right, I can minimize my toolbar, drag it around, and then stop the recording directly from the toolbar.